Hi, I'm Ron Birdie, and this is another episode in the series of Mavic's how-to videos. This one is all about the fixed composites that you can do with Mavic's uh, 6150 and 6120. So uh, on the screen, you see our familiar PowerStream Plus interface, and uh, let's go into our 6150 that we have set up. Uh, we have four HDMI inputs again, um, and uh, we have our processing. So let's take a look at the processing and figure out how can we build a composite stream or a composite record. Um, in the processing, there's once you click on it, you'll see the layout is there. So I can choose a number of different fixed composite layouts that I have available to me, side by side, even portrait side by side, picture in picture in all the different quadrants. Um, one up, two down, two up, one down, and even a, a quadrant view. So one in each of the quadrants of the screen or the stream. Um, so in this case, let's make it simple. We'll just pick uh, one of the picture in pictures. And when I do that, my processing interface in the, uh, on the left side or the main part of the screen changes. I get two sources for the stream that I'm going to build or the recording that I'm going to build. Video source A is there and video source B by default, but I can change these. So video source B at the moment has um, input number two or digital AV input number two in it. I can change that simply by clicking on it and from the drop down choosing, let's say I'll take uh, digital AV input number four. So my HDMI four input is going to be, uh, is what's going to be used for that picture in picture. So now, okay, I look like I'm set. I'm not going to do anything special with my stream or my encoding. I'll leave them at defaults and away I go. I can simply apply. Now I'm applying. So now on my right screen, I'll go to VLC and let's see what we come up with. I'll open the network stream. Uh, this is the correct one. We'll play and that should pop open. And away we go with a video uh, playing in the upper right screen and the background that you see on my left screen, which is the other input that I have. So now I've done a fixed composite and away I go. One of the really neat ones that we have for this and that can be used in a, we've seen used in a number of different ways, going back to the PowerStream Plus side of things, is if again I pick, on the, pick up on the processing and choose the quadrant one that I mentioned before, you can have this quadrant approach and if I click on that one, now I can have four different sources of 1920 by 1080 going into that um, composite view of quadrants. And I can send it out either scaled down to 1920 by 1080 to save on bandwidth if I'm not interested in any particular detail there and I'm just simply monitoring. Or if I wanted to, I can stream it out at 4K and keep the original pixel format of all of the four 1080p streams. It's up to you. You can choose that simply by setting the frame size. So exactly the same as we did before but a frame size of either 10, 1920 or 1080, uh, 1920 or 4K. So let's play, let's see what we see. Uh, we took the defaults, we're outputting now, and the stream stops in VLC, and I simply go back to my network stream, restart, and away we go. Now I have that setup that I mentioned before. A couple of them are exactly the same because I didn't. they went to the default inputs, but I could have streamed anything in this case. And there we are. 